I'm Bharat Srinivas, master's degree holder in public relations and communications from the UK, Leeds Metropolitan University. And I've been a trainer for about 11 years now, on and off. And I'm here to train students on employability skills. That is the, I'm an author, and this is the book about employability skills that I have written, the graduate employability manual, the gem I call it. Me, I'm, I've been employed in India, in Australia, and in England been working for about 15 years, 14 years and I find a passion for working with students and in terms of developing their skills. The problem with the Indian youth is not one of a lack of employment, rather it is a lack of employability in the sense that students, graduates, postgraduates, those who pass out of their courses and are ready to take their first jobs lack the capacity to seek employment sustain their employment and be successes in their employment. Owing to the present day's demographics, employability skills have skewed towards soft skills as compared to pure hard skills. So I would presume, I would come to the conclusion that the person who possesses the capacity to communicate, to interact, to make, to make speeches and presentations, basically interact, to convey to the recipient what is in his mind effectively and efficiently he will be a success it is if i were to break up the placement box into three four sub boxes it will be a little of all these one will be what is the sort of job profile you're looking at two what is the remuneration three will be the location four will be the brand name of the organization you work for, work for and five will be the philosophies and the soft identity of the organization, the philosophies, the way they work, the work, work culture, the sort of people you'll be interacting with. If you're not happy doing what you're doing, you will never be a success in what you do. Unless you're happy, you're satisfied doing whatever you're doing. It is 50-50. You need to identify what you like to do and what the market requires and then, then come to a, an, a, an informed decision based on the two parameters. See, attitude is on this side, skills and knowledge on this side. Skills and knowledge can be acquired. Attitude is more or less something that is innate in you. So I would, I would bifurcate the two. And I would say that all of them take 33% each in the 100% that we have for a person who is supposed to be employed or to be selected. Skills and knowledge, which I have here, which I have in my book, skills and knowledge, unless you have these skills to produce what you need to produce, to deliver what you need to deliver, you will not be effective in what you do. Knowledge is the bedrock of information. Information is the bedrock of competitive advantage. For the future management professional, understand yourself before you try to understand somebody else. One. Two, learn to be grounded. Learn to stick somewhere. Learn to understand the situation on the ground before building castles in the air. I would like students to be grounded, to get the basics right, to get their information, to get their knowledge before they start making use of what they've learned. I like to interact with students, I like nature, and I like this atmosphere. I don't like these high rises which, I'm, which I experience wherever I go in Bangalore. I mean, for you to look at the sun or the moon, you need to climb to the 36th floor. Here it is visible right here. <laughs> wherever I stand, I could lie down on the floor and look at the sky. That is something that I like. And, but this, the people here have been very accommodative of me, as of now at least. They've been very comfortable to get along with, been very, Homely atmosphere here. I would love to come back here as and when required. Send me an invitation, I'm here.